Wild Frost. Yay! All right, let's play this game. Choose my leader. Okay. I'm gonna pick Call Moon. I just sum about the squirrely aesthetic. Start each battle, drag your leader from your hand to the battlefield. Foxy is one of your companions, get him on the battlefield too. Scrappy sword to take out the Pentagoon, or Pengoon. Oh, wow. Card counters reduced by one each turn. When they reach zero, the card will attack. So I've got one turn till he attacks, and Foxy's got one turn till attack. Okay. You're almost out of card. Gain a new hand by hitting the redraw bell. You must protect your leader. If they die, it's game over. Okay. Oh, the Snow Knight. Whenever anything is frozen, game plus one. Uh-oh. There we go, he's dead. Victory. Okay, journal page. As the snow began to fall and the temperature dropped, we knew it was a storm like no other. As the months went on, the snow lingered and the cold grew harsher. There was no escaping the wild frost, as it spread like a wildfire of snow and ice. Many believed the storm had an unnatural source. Brave adventurers set out into the wilderness, determined to put an end to the storm. I, too, decided to take on the challenge, but like those who came before me, I was unable to penetrate the heart of the storm. If anyone is reading this, use the knowledge within these pages to go forth and bring the sun back to our world. Together, we can restore warmth and light to this frozen land. Ooh, okay, I get a new hero. Yeah, Big Barry. Oh, I get treasure. Nice. Deals damage every turn. Oh, so it's like a poison. This looks pretty good. I should get another guy into combat. Let's get Snoffle. Oh, or wow, he, he died. There we go. Okay, well that guy was easy. Oh, Big Barry, come on, man. Don't die on me. Okay, he died on me. That's great. You know what, maybe I'm not, okay, yikes. Welcome to Snowdwell. You can construct new buildings in the town by completing challenges. Check back here after each run to see what you've unlocked. Nice. All right, let's set out. Doubles damage taken, Peck, or Oak Snow. Let's go for Aldwolf. All right, to the boss. Okay, I should have Scrappy Sword another guy. That's okay. There we go. Bam is down. There we go. Yes, boss is dead. Now entering ice caves. Oh, okay. Well, I'm dead. Ooh, making some town progress. Nice. Ooh, I got a pet house. Okay, so this is the pet house. All right, so we need to recall three companions, and then the cat girl will give us a new pet. All right, let's go again. Okay, we'll go Rustfall. Yeah, she looks pretty good. There we go. Boozle is down. All right, Smackback's going to be really good here. All right, I am very dead if I get hit. There we go. Okay, that's some healing. Okay, Barry's dead. Barry, no. Sorry, Cruiser. We lost him. I'm going to do this. And then if I do Sunrod, I should be able to attack. There we go. Yes, we did it. We lost Barry, but we won the battle. All right, to battle. Supply three pepper. Oh, I'm dead. We actually made it that pretty far that time. We made it to the second. We beat the boss. Boss time. Infernoco? When an ally is killed, gain their attack. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Honestly, we win. He's so poisoned. 
but you know what? I'll kill this frost stringer while we're here. Oh my gosh, you killed me. Oh no. Wait, How what? How we let this happen? Lil Berry. What happened there? Tribe Hall, new tribe. Okay, so the previous tribe we had was the Snow Dwellers, but now we have the Shade Mancers. Am I right? These skilled warriors unleash the power of darkness by summoning spirits known as Shades to aid them in battle. Shades can absorb enemy attacks, be powered up to create devastating opponents, or strategically sacrifice to gain various boons. Cool, so these are, I guess they're just new cards that get added. Okay, I want to play one of the guys from the new tribe. All right, I'm going for Val. Journal page. Before the Wild Frost, Shades were elusive shadow creatures known for their ability to possess objects. These rarely seen beings could occasionally be found in dark, cold space places like shells and pots. After the Wild Frost, as the world grew colder and darker, Shades became more prevalent and powerful. They began to possess dangerous objects and animate them into monstrous opponents. A tribe known as the Shade Mancers found a way to harness the power of these creatures. Using uniquely crafted masks, they were able to turn them into reliable allies. Oh, that's pretty cool. The lore of this game is kind of neat. Summon Junjun. Deal damage equal to number of tar blades in hand. Nice, this is going well. Okay, now we got Snow Knight. Okay, let's have him attack right now. But there we go. Wow, okay. Honestly, this deck feels pretty cool. Okay. Whoa, what happened there? All right, I summoned a copy of Boozle. Yikes, please don't kill Big Barry. Bye, Big Barry, we'll miss you. Summoning Junjun, there we go. Save the day, Junjun. She had a friend like Big Barry, yikes. That is wild.